Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and today we're talking about Honest Beauty Skincare. This is a brand I've been trying out probably more than a year at this point. Some of the stuff is new to their line, so those I haven't been trying as much, but I just want to really get a thorough opinion of all these products to share with you. I have a ton of stuff. I don't have every single product that they sell, but I have a lot. I have at least one product from each line. But before we start, if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do I always do that give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy at any point but let's go ahead and just hop right into this so if you're not already familiar with honest beauty this is jessica elba's skincare line they do offer clean ingredients they're cruelty free i don't believe every single product is vegan but it does tell you on their site which ones are so i'm going to be reviewing the products in the order that i would apply them and i'll also go over which line that each product belongs to and they're also sold on target the honest beauty website and they're sold on amazon as well so let's start with the cleansers. The first one I want to talk about is the newest line to the Honest Beauty skincare collection. This is their calming collection. I'm not sure the exact name, but this is called their Calm On Foaming Cream Cleanser. This is the line that has like very, they're all color coded depending on what line they're in. So this is like a darker blue. This line specifically is light blue. This cleanser is $17.99. And some of the ingredients in it are microhyaluronic acid and amino acids. This is hypoallergenic and sensitive skin friendly. It's kind of what this line is geared towards. And it's also fragrance free, which is awesome. So the texture of this is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely a thicker, creamier cleanser that does emulsify with water, but not a ton. It doesn't get super foamy. This has been one of my favorite cleansers. I just recently tried it and really have fallen in love with it. I love more gentle, creamy, non-drying cleansers for winter, and that's exactly what this cleanser offers. I find it takes off makeup extremely well, but it doesn't have a scent to it. It's just so gentle and keeps the moisture intact on your skin. So this product specifically, I would totally recommend. I think it's worth the $18. Such a solid cleanser. And the other cleanser in their collection I don't have on hand, but I have tried before. I mentioned it in some favorites videos. I've gone through a couple bottles. It's called their Gel to Milk Cleanser. This is one of the first skincare products I think Honest Beauty ever launched. It is $14.99, so a little bit cheaper than the Calm On one. And the key ingredients in this are rose water, and it has some clay in it as well. The rose water gives it a really light, beautiful rose scent. Nothing overwhelming at all. It's just very luxurious smelling, not very grandma-y. If you guys don't like floral scents, Sense. I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it. I don't think it's super strong, but I also love this cleanser It is more of a gel cleanser compared to this one Which is a thicker cream if you have like normal to drier skin You would love this personally. I have combo skin I still really enjoy this in the winter gel to milk one is more I feel like for oily skin or if you want a cleanser to specifically remove makeup with because it starts off with a gel Which really I feel like just picks up a lot of just anything on your skin And then once it emulsifies it turns into a really milky wash and just rinses right off honestly compared Comparing the way they remove makeup, I haven't tried this cleanser in a while, but I feel like this one might be a little bit better at taking off makeup just because it's a little bit thicker, but they both do a pretty good job. It's not just a second cleanse type of product. You can use them either way. Absolutely love that. It's another one that's very gentle. Both of the cleansers from Honest Beauty are some of my favorites from the line, honestly. Definitely check either of those out if you need a good cleanser. Moving right along to Mist, this is another new product. It's from their Calm and Collection. It's called their Calm and Go Face Mist. This is $17.99 and it has their Calming Phyto Blend, which I believe is amino acids and a form of hyaluronic acid. Also has B5 and Shea Butter, which is really interesting for a mist. You can see the consistency. It's very milky. This is so freaking good. I was not expecting to love this as much as I have. Like I've really just been going through this like crazy. Again, since it is from the Calming Collection, it does not have a scent to it. It just smells like shea butter almost a little bit. But the mist on this is absolutely... I don't know why I did that. You probably can't see that. It's an amazing mister. It's a continuous mist, so it's not one you have to like keep spraying. It just comes out super fine. I actually used this to set my makeup today. I used it under my makeup. I just can't stop using this even throughout the day. B5 is really good for calming redness, and I just think this is one of my favorite products from the brand as a whole. Oh, this is $13.99. For $13.99, I would totally repurchase this. I really love the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator, but that's pretty pricey, so I feel like I'm just gonna keep returning to this one 
because it's wowed me so far. The next mist that they sell is one that I don't have on hand as well, but it is one of the first products I ever tried from the brand called their Hydration Mist. Retails for, oh no, this one is $17.99. Okay, and then the Hydration Mist is $13.99. So this collection as a whole is a little bit more expensive. So the Hydration Mist has essential oils in it, lavender, some other flower oils. It also has aloe and hyaluronic acid. So if you don't prefer to use essential oils or have sensitive skin, definitely go with this. Honestly, I do prefer this one to the Hydration Mist. That one's nice, but I don't feel like it's as beneficial to the skin as this one is. Like the Hydration Mist is nice. It just doesn't do anything like miraculous to my skin. Next is a category I don't necessarily go to Honest Beauty for and it's serums. They have a lot of different serums that I'm going to go over today. Let's start with the Calming Collection since we've been talking about those first. So this is called their Calm Serum. It's $29.99 so pretty pricey for like a Target product. This has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and I Fido blend. Again, I think that's like their trademark blend of soothing complexes. So this, as you can tell, I haven't been trying for a long time. I don't really have like a full opinion on it. So far, I think that it's a really nice gel texture. It goes well with other serums, but whenever I use this, I also really like the Ordinary Niacinamide, and that's kind of the key ingredient with this, along with Hyaluronic Acid. So for the price, $30, I mean, you do get both ingredients, but the Ordinary Niacinamide is $5 for the same amount if this is one ounce. Whatever the price is, I know the Ordinary is definitely more inexpensive. That's one of my favorite serums. So unless I notice like more improvements in my skin with this serum, I would just stick with the ordinary because it's like the same key ingredient, but for less, it does come in nice glass packaging, which I think is like, it's a nice upgrade, but I don't know. I'm not crazy about that yet. Next up, we have the Beauty Sleep Serum, which is $27.99. And this is sort of their exfoliating serum as a blend of five encapsulated AHAs. I believe they're fruit derived AHAs. So they release slower on your skin, which is great if you have more sensitive skin. Also has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide in here. This is more of like a liquidy consistency type of serum. I don't like this. I don't feel like I notice a ton of difference in my skin. I don't know. It just doesn't do enough for me to want to repurchase it. The texture is nice and it blends well with other products, but I do prefer salicylic acid for my exfoliating serums. I usually just use one from Alex I've Skin or the Paul's Choice salicylic acid toner because personally that's what works best with my skin. But you know, you might like this. Who knows? It's just not my favorite. Alrighty, next let's talk about their Clearing Night Serum. I don't think this is the full size. Maybe it is. This is 0.5 fluid ounces. I thought this was just like a little travel size, but this is $27.99. I hope that this size is not that pricey, but this is 0.5% salicylic acid. I like how they give you the percentage with the other resurfacing one. Like we have no idea what percentage of the acids are in there. So who knows how potent or non-potent it is. This one is 0.5% salicylic acid. Also has some retinol and hyaluronic acid in there and some additional essential oils. This I definitely prefer over the other exfoliating serum, but it's still not my favorite product in the world. I've been using this more just like for spot treating basically. Again, the essential oils, if you prefer something without that, there's definitely better brands. And moving on, there are two serums. I believe these were also part of their like first skincare releases. Let's start with the retinol serum here, $27.99. This has encapsulated retinol. So as I mentioned, it releases slower than regular retinol, hyaluronic acid, and squalene. This is nice. It makes my skin hydrated. It doesn't irritate it. But again, it's one that I don't find I get results from like pretty quickly or or even at all, besides the fact that it makes my skin hydrated, which I can get from a lot of other products. So I don't know, I'm not that experienced with retinol, so I can't really tell you guys like if this does retinol-y type things. Might be nice if you're a beginner because it is encapsulated, so it releases a little bit slower. But if you're interested in retinol, my favorite is, I think it's actually retinoid. I don't know exactly what type of retinol they use, but from Allies of Skin, it's the black overnight sleeping mask. is amazing, does not irritate my skin, and is effective. It's super pricey though, so like if you did want a cheaper option, you might want to check this out. But in terms of effectiveness, that one's definitely my favorite. And then the other product in that little duo is their vitamin C serum, also $27.99. This one has hyaluronic acid, artichoke extract, and a pearl finish. Again, I wish I knew the percentage of vitamin C in here because it's the same thing as this. It's nice on the skin, keeps it hydrated, but it doesn't really do much more than that. And the pearl finish to this, it's 
more of a lightweight or gel consistency. It's sort of just like, I don't know if there's like mica in it or something, but it does make your skin look glowy. I would prefer that they kept that out of skincare and I would just use like a primer or foundation to get like a glowy look. Like, I don't know. It's just not something that does much for me. So those, I feel like serums from Honest Beauty are personally not my favorite. If you were to pick up one thing from the brand, I wouldn't really start there. Moving right along to eye creams. I believe they changed the name and the packaging of this because this is like an older one. This is called their Instant Plump Eye Cream, which has hyaluronic acid, chamomile, and calendula. Again, I'm not sure if this is like the same one that I saw on their website, but my review of this, if it is the same, I'll like check and put it in the description. But I really enjoy this eye cream. It has a more just traditional lotion-y texture. It's pretty light under the eyes and it doesn't give me melia or any just weirdness. It goes well under makeup and that's pretty much it, I can say for this, I don't notice like a big reduction in dark circles, but it doesn't claim to do that. It just says that it's plumping, so pretty good. All right, next for moisturizers, another new line product. It's the Daily Calm Lightweight Moisturizer. This is $29.99, so it has the Phyto Blend, supposed to be calming for your skin, some glycerin, I believe it's triglyceride base. So this says that it's lightweight. I don't find that this is necessarily a super lightweight moisturizer. I kind of find it to be the opposite of that. Like it doesn't really feel heavy on your skin, but it's one that feels very like occlusive and just thick on my skin. This would be great if you have sensitive skin or you're just having like a reaction and need something to moisturize your skin, but you don't want like a bunch of crazy ingredients. It's really nice. I still have to continue using this because it is pretty new to me, but my first impression is this line is definitely my favorite from Honest Beauty so far. I just like how they stuck with super simple, effective ingredients and made it fragrance free. And the other moisturizer I've tried, this is definitely a small size, is called their Soothing Daily Moisturizer for $27.99. This has jojoba, hyaluronic acid, Acid and essential oils. So as I mentioned with the other products, if you're avoiding essential oils, just stick with the calming line. So this one, I do agree that it is a lightweight, definitely more lightweight than this one but still moisturizing and just makes your skin feel really nice and soothed for sure. I don't have problems with any of the skincare pilling up or doing weird things under makeup, but that's a good thing. The scent with this is pretty, it's a light citrusy scent, nothing too strong. I don't feel like any of these products are very strongly scented. So this is nice, but I do prefer this one over that one. It just depends your skin type and what you're looking for. And lastly, let's talk about the two masks that they have, starting with the Prime and Perfect mask. Key ingredients in this are shea butter and vitamin E. Pretty interesting ingredients for a clay-based mask. Also says it has super fruits in it. So the name Prime and Perfect, I'm guessing you're supposed to sort of use this before makeup. It does also have like a pearl finish to it, which is fun. No real skin benefit though. I do enjoy this mask. I like that it isn't just like a drying clay mask. It makes your skin feel moisturized afterwards, which is what I would expect with a mask that claims to be like a primer. Again, it's not something I'm totally like obsessed with but I do grab it from time to time kind of if I don't know what my skin wants because it's not too drying it's not like overly oily or moisturizing it's just a nice in between sort of just balance out your skin mask and then the other one they have is called their detox mask which has charcoal in it obviously clay and some shea butter I like how they do that to sort of off balance the dryness of the clay, but my skin had a reaction to this. I don't know exactly what was in here that made my skin react to it. So because of that, I haven't been reaching for it. Oh, it also has Manuka honey. That's kind of nice. I don't reach for it because it irritated my skin. Maybe I'll try it again, but out of the two, I would definitely gravitate towards this one. So that was all the products I had to review for you guys today. And if I were to pick a couple products from the line that I recommend over everything else, first would definitely be this mist. I'm like so obsessed with this. The Calm and Go Face Mist, I think it's so great. And same thing with the Calm On Cleanser and also their other cleanser. I think they're really solid cleanser options from Target. Everything else is kind of like meh. I still have to play around with this serum, but I am excited about its ingredients. So yeah, that was about it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know they sell a lot of skincare, but I kind of wanted to weave through it and tell you guys what's worth it or not. If you did find it helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already but thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.